It's burnt. I'm gonna replace this element. See it? There's something wrong with my antenna and I'm going to troubleshoot it today. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Okay, last night the SWR was going up and down. So I'm out here inspecting my antenna and elements look okay, but when I was following this element here, this is the 15 to 40 meters. Go all the way to the top. Looks like it, uh, it's tangled. It's tangled up there. And the 80 meters inverted L, um, that upper spreader plate is twisted. So I'm gonna bring this down, re-inspect the antenna, make sure all the elements are okay, not corroded. You know, sometimes it gets corroded up in here and then it separates. Well, it's high noon here in Florida. Very hot. Hot and sunny. Okay, I'm just gonna remove these guy wires, guy ropes. So I'm gonna loosen up these, the last three guys, lower it down in that direction. Disconnecting the Ultra Flick 7. Oh, I forgot, I got some stakes here on the ground. Gonna remove these. I should have done this first. Remove these grounding radials. This one here, I gotta remove it completely off. So I had an issue with the 40 and 15, which is this one here. Just gonna follow it up. Alright, so here, it tangled here. Okay, yeah. Check a look. It's burnt. I want to replace this element. You see it? Right there? It was tangled here. It fused to this element here. You see the corrosion? That's the, where the problem was. Alright, so I gotta fix that. That's why the um, SWRs were a little funky. You see this? It burnt the zip tie. So I'm going to remove the uh, 40 to 15 meter element and also the uh, 17 meter element and have those replaced. 17 meters is easy to do. It's just a loop and a knot. So just put the knot through the loop and it comes apart just like that. All right, this is 10 meters. I think it's a 17. So I think this is the one, the hole to use. It is so hot. I relocated. I'm now here in the shade. All right, so the 40 meter element. I found some spear wire and uh, replacing the uh, 40 to 15 meter element now. Now that we have the 40 meter, 15 meter element here, there's a 17 element here that was interacting with this one. I think what had happened was when I was routing the elements through this is 17, that's the new 17 meter. I routed it through here. 
it was kind of really close about an inch away from this element so i'm going to put it in the next hole here so they don't interact route that all the way through oh boy storms are brewing let me put this antenna back together um, by myself I'm gonna have to erect this antenna I right, just gotta have these here so at least I'll have two Two of the tripod legs. Raise the DX Commander. I got my inverted L going in the right direction. Walk it up. All right, I got one. All right, we got two. Look, hands free. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I got these pegs that I use. Yeah, it's pretty much centered. I put these to uh, make sure radiating element is, is uh, touching that plastic. And this gives me uh, the stability so the bottom doesn't give out. There you go, you see what I mean? The nail, the stake is not touching the transmitting radiating element all right this guy got to go on this side so I gotta move those two in that direction maybe I can finish this before the rain comes I feel it coming rain is coming gonna have to secure it's getting really dark see what I mean look at those trees Here's the antenna. We got the 05 antenna on the left. The DX commander on the right. Okay, take a look. It's about to thunder. We're right here in Jacksonville. Right in this area here. DX commander classic. I repaired the 40, 15 meter element that was fused to the 17 meter element. Hey guys, my name is Captain Darren. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Click on that like button and also leave me a comment. 73s and have a great day.